Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Sunshine Heavy Industries, where today we're going on to some larger and more complicated ships, and I think I want to start with... Now you know what, let's just start at the top, let's just go right down. Alert, I'm detecting a distress beacon from a passing ship. Wow, passing really close it seems. What the... Look at the size of that thing. She had time to change her status and location though. <laughs> Begin automated message. Automated seed ship G4361 requests shipbuilding services. Current vessel is damaged beyond repair. Stasis pods currently unpowered. Biological occupants regaining consciousness too early. Require a new vessel capable of supporting 20 stasis pods and one cybernetic mainframe. End of automated message. Oh, neat! It's a world chip from a primitive civil. Uh, <clears throat> it's a world chip from a primitive civilization. There we go. That's how my mouth, mouth muscles work. It's being piloted by a robot while they're all in cryo sleep. Wait, artificial intelligences can have bodies? <laughs> what? No, no, that's silly. Don't you worry about that. Delete the last five seconds of conversation. Uh, okay. Beep, beep, boop, deleting. Anyway. Legally, we're not allowed to interfere with their civilization's progress, but... You know, we could use the money. Hop to it, cadet. Hey, no, no, this is... Look, listen, we're doing a, a helpful thing here. We're saving them. Okay, so their stuff is real wrecked here. Um, we can just delete all the... I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna burn all this scrap. We don't, we don't need this stuff around here. And in fact, our profit is going up. The scrap is actually, the scrap has a value attached to it. It does not require shielding. Okay, so let's get rid of all this noise. Okay, so these parts need, they need heat, they need to be armored, or they need um, cooling, and they need to be armored, and they need to be powered, so. I mean, it's pretty easy to just run heat sinks down like this, right? And we want to use as many of the one by threes as possible. So let me let me just cut all these. Hold on a second. Because like this is the thing that makes sense to do, right? Just just run a line and then it's probably not going to take well you know what actually it probably makes more sense to put the generator in the middle and then have them running out from that so okay right like generator here then this ends up being space for... Do this and that. We can figure this out in a minute. And then we don't actually need any of the other heat sinks to touch the generator. So... We could do the same thing... I don't know why I turned that. Same thing on this side. Out to four away, because that's what the generator can reach. And then... One more here. And then the rest of these we can just kind of pack in above or below in a way that's like pretty unobtrusive. So... Do we have any other materials that are going to require heat here? Or going to require heat sinking, rather. Is it worth putting on a three? Well, we need this CPU, right? Yeah, that generates heat. No surprise there. It also needs to be powered, though. So, okay. Let's bring it in here. That'll... 
that'll provide it with the power it needs. Because the ram also, the ram does not have to be heated. It does have to be powered, but it doesn't have to be heated. So then we can go like... Right, and stick a one by two in here. That's got all those dealt with. Oh, we need at least two of these. We are probably just gonna need a second generator, aren't we? How's my overall power situation? Say on here, okay, yeah, energy greater than or equal to zero. Currently, the energy is less than 200 or a negative 200. So, we actually need a huge number of additional generators. So, building, building for generator space efficiency doesn't actually make any sense at all. And I should have looked at the, I should have looked at the value here. Um, so. We're gonna need four additional generators beyond what we have right now. Sorry, we're gonna need even more than that because I don't have the RAM in the schematic yet, but we do have to, we do have to have four of these. So that creates a need for an additional generator. <clears throat> okay, and all of these have to be heat synced. Well, we're also trying our very hardest to add as little to the profile of the ship as possible. So like a one by three heat sink here gives us, <coughs> excuse me, gives us pretty good but imperfect coverage. And there's not, I think, a way to rearrange. Well, if we make this a one by three. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. We have a we have space over here where we can install another generator. So hold on, I can I can do this. I'm trying to reduce the profile here. I guess that doesn't really work, does it? <coughs> All of a sudden, it would seem I have a frog in my throat, which is a really inconvenient place for a frog to be. And I don't remember uh, putting it there. And I'm kind of upset uh, because I feel like if I'm going to have all the downsides of having consumed a frog, I would like to at least remember eating it, you know? All right, so we can just install the ram kind of like in in here just in the inside the profile of the ship as things stand now. We're also going to need to add some thrust. And I mean, it certainly suggests that I want to do this, which means that this thing then has a, um, needs to be heat sunk. Oh wait, sorry, we needed seven additional thrust, not six. There we go. Is there a better way to do 14? No, this is fine. So... We 
need 53 units of fuel. That's a ton. So these are 35 per square compared to the 30 per square of the other thing. But it also is four points of shielding, which is, yeah, I mean, that's a good, that's a good price. So we'd have to be touching a fuel pump. That like there. And then we could just, we can just install another fuel pump here. <laughs> You need to just be somewhere like you can do a two by two tank and then another two by two and then one of these tank hulls over here. It seems very dangerous to have your armor be, um, you know, to have your armor be full of fuel, potentially not ideal. Right, I need to, I need room to install a um, a pump that this stuff touches. So actually, well, one thing I should definitely do is this. How oh, that's shoot right. I need this to be. Crud. You know, one point two pump here is not that's not a not a terrible inefficiency. And then the thing is we can put another pump here, but then I don't there's no um tank that fits in that space. But we can do this. Then, yeah, there's no two by one. Gosh, it would sure would be nice if there was, though. So I still need to heat sink this thing, but I think this thing's just getting its own heat sink. That doesn't feel very efficient, but I th think it's fine. Yeah, you're, it's necessary for you to be this long because you have to touch that. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Just do that, and it's all right. Uh, so then we need a lot more fuel still. Um, this is inside of, yeah, this is like well inside of the power area. So I guess what we can do is we can just jam some RAM in there. Yeah, I don't want to move. Well, like now that we have a heatsink on this side, we can place one of the pods over here and that reduces the um, the profile of this a little bit. And then we can run tank hulls along this side too. And figure out like a proper way to like here, let's cut you I'm going to take all the normal armor off the schematic just for a moment here so if I wanted to run a pair of tank hulls there we could do that we could run a 1x2 fuel pump to feed them both and then we could run some additional fuel tanks down here pretty easily um, actually sorry because of the size of the engines this needs to be here which means that we end up with kind of a weird situation. Maybe we can tuck some RAM in there, I guess. That's, yeah, that's within powering range. Feels pretty inefficient to do that. It's fine. Uh, and then... We still have 22 units of cargo space we have to cram on here, too. So we're just building out, we're just building out blocks here. 
Okay. So there's 22 cargo. If we do... We don't have to have that much more tank hull to make this work, right? And then one more tank hull on this side covers us. We don't need a command module, but we do need more armor. So there we go. We're like super, super solid on fuel, even without these many of these fuel tanks. So we can replace some of this space with cargo space. We have a weird spot up here where we can jam. Oh, sorry. This can be ram. That probably needs to be a fuel pump. We have room for a fuel pump there. So we're... Let me, let me remove all of the... Let's say we can go up to here. Uh, we'll drop a pump in there and a pump in there. And move this to here. And then just another small pump there. So like this, with a, <laughs> with a big armored pump box, we still need some fuel pumps. It's not, there's not really any avoiding it. We have more than enough room for all the cargo. It's like completely trivial to jam all the cargo in. And then we need, what, nine additional points of fuel tanks, which is easy enough to get. We can go three and three and three over here, and we're totally fine. And that's a legal design, and I think it's... It may not be the minimum number of parts, but it's probably pretty close to the minimum number of parts, right? It's very hacked together. <laughs> Whatever, I'm going to accept it. That's a lot of profit still. It's just a big box with some engines on the back. Seed ship AI 32516, we've finished building your new ship. You are cleared to depart the station. Begin automated message. Uh, this may be like an expression of happiness. Stasis pods reactivated. Occupants entering deep sleep. Sending robotic lifeform schematics as agreed. Shh, 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 keep that quiet. Credits transferred. Resuming flight plan. I am concerned. This uh, this could this plot line seems like it could lead to some danger for us in the long term. Okay, well, cool. Uh, so yeah, that didn't add any parts to the store. It just had some new stuff for us. Uh, let's let's go back to our friend Ren here. Hi, the orbital scrapyard's mine now. It's kind of a mess right now though, on account of all the scrap. And there's a bunch of ancient space barges, and I need a way to move them around. Basically, I need a tugboat. The engine should be really, really, really strong. Also, it would be cool if it had a giant horn on it. Yeah, I, I could see that. I could see how that's cool. They are going to make... Okay, he wasn't just talking. Like, they, they do want the horn. Aim away from face. <laughs> Needs clearance. Front. It is armored, though. Okay, so we're going to need one 6x3 engine. And also a total... Jeez. <laughs> and also a total of 86 thrusts. So also a bunch more of these for sure. Um, Do we want to just do... A bank like this? Or like if I do this kind of thing... Then what we can do is we can put in single space pumps. We can tuck fuel tanks between them. Since they're so long, we can do like a, um, a heat sink here and still have room for a fuel tank.
right? So we're making like efficient use of that pump because pumps are one of the most expensive parts on the ship, right? So then we just do, can I copy paste? No, it doesn't. Yeah. That's a shame because I do actually just want to make this shape again at least once. That'll give us a start on our fuel. All right, then we only need 14 more points of thrust. So we don't have to go super big like that. It could be two four by twos, or it's 14. So it's a four by two and a three by two. And I mean, we can do the same thing here. It's a little lopsided. It feels like the strong engines should be on the outside, don't you think? Okay, so here, situation's a little bit different. Pump and heat sink, and there's, yeah, there's not really room for a fuel tank there. Okay. In terms of real design, I don't like the heat sinks tucked between the engines like this. Like, where are they gonna disperse the heat to? I guess the Z axis. Uh, so we need to carry 29 units of fuel. We need space for passengers and stuff. This isn't too bad. So we need two command points and it's definitely more efficient to get those in a one by two cockpit. And then for passengers, we're gonna need a four by one bunk. Probably shouldn't put these in front of a fuel pump. Uh, fuel. So obviously there's a lot of efficiency there. I mean, we can do, we can do some fuel tanks or some, some tank hull. We need 22 units of cargo. So 10 plus 10 plus two. And we only need front armor, so. We can move this stuff, like if I take this over here, we can put all this stuff down, because like the major constraint here is that all the engines have to have backward clearance. The most space efficient we could be is only three rows collapsed, right? Because we could we could have all the engines laid next to each other. I guess the most space efficient we could be is just have a fifth one of these to cover all the thrust. And that would, you know, reduce our armor costs a little bit, but I think we're fine. So... Yeah, it's not really help helping anything to have us all laid out like this, because our armor... The cost of our armor is being set by the width of the engine block. These all these are all ten yeah they're all ten points per. Oh there's oh there's fancy stuff if you want to get a little like aesthetically fancy with it. Look at that. And then we put one on the other side as well. Oh it's beautiful. It's, it's so beautiful. Same thing over here. And there you go. That is like a technically legal spaceship. 
looks very good and normal, exactly the way you would want it to. <laughs> I actually really, I actually really like it. I'm very pleased with that one. Oh, this is so cool. And uh, oh yeah, about the horn. I remember that sound doesn't travel in a vacuum, but yeah, no, we'll be able to feel it in here. That's for sure. Okay, all right, okay. Please get the hell out of my shipyard. <laughs> Yeesh. Okay, smaller fuel tanks. Actually, yeah, potentially useful. Uh, hey guys. Hey, what do you need? New ship? Uh, not right now. Just stopped by to pick up some hull cleaner fluid. I, I thought the other truckers had finally accepted me as one of them. But this morning I woke up and... One of them did a big graffiti on my new ship. If it's singular, I think the singular is graffito. Hey, that's actually a pretty good likeness of you. I don't have that many stink lines, do I? Well, not usually, no. I just forget it. Some people just suck. Yeah, I, I guess so. Well, I gotta go. I'll see you two later. Hey. On a completely unrelated note, I need you to build a ship with a giant anti-jerk revenge drill on the front. Aw, Celine. That's remarkably sweet. We can do this. We can we can make this work. Okay, there's a lot of um, red in the bay right now. For drilling large holes or for use as a weapon, why not? Needs clearance bottom. Okay. I mean, it needs clearance whichever way you point it. But they they want to think about it as bottom. Let's go ahead and do it that way. Okay, so... We don't need armor. Does this need power? Yeah. Okay. So that's got that powered. We just need to be cool on energy. It's actually quite expensive to run the drill. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need 14 points of thrust, which is like pretty gentle, actually. Yeah, wow, these are, um, the 6x3 is wildly expensive. 35 Yeah, the, the, the engine's actually vary a lot. The 5x1 is is pretty efficient. The 3x1s are very efficient. Cash efficient, I should say. But obviously the um, the upside of the 6x3 is that you do not need to run a lot of fuel pumps to it. So like... Do I just want to do that? <laughs> if we're going to do 14 any other way... Like, a thing that would be really efficient is to run three 5 by ones We'll just put a fuel pump. Like, this is pretty cheap. Put the little fuel pump in there. Or even, even this could be a one by 2 and then we could just run, we could run a bunch of tanks off of it. That feels like the right move. Alternatively, it could cool some of this other stuff. But it feels like we want to run fuel tanks. How much fuel do we need? Oh, we only need seven, though. So we can run a fuel tank. And then... It's actually... Yeah, so we don't, we don't need a one by two. We only need one fuel tank. Okay. Uh, we need nine cargo space for all... This is where we're going to carry all of the revenge. And then we're going to need a little bit more firepower uh, than we have here. Single point of command. So I need... Is a drill the most efficient way to add weaponry? Drill is 40 by 9. It does dramatically increase the um, the power consumption. So the 2x1 cannons are slightly more dollar efficient. 
They need front clearance, but that's fine. So the 2 by 3 is going to add 6. I mean, yeah, I think the thing that makes the most sense is just to put four cannons on it, or five cannons on it, rather. Sorry, these don't go like this. They go... So we do have to heat... We do have to heat sink the engines, which I somehow totally forgot is a thing. I guess I am going to use a 1x2 fuel pump then. Because that lets me plug in a single heatsink here. Am I allowed to orient these backwards and just have them, yeah, do back clearance? Because, like, right? We can do that. Uh, and then we run... If I move this down one, it should be fine. Yeah, then we can run a heatsink here, too. these on there and then it's just a matter of like moving these in here and the most efficient way to do this is an additional one by two and we hang that there oh right I still need to heat sink the well you know That's okay. It probably makes more sense to use... Can we get this down to one, one by three? If I put this here... Yeah, right? I had to move that whole assembly backwards, though, because I need to... There we go. Oh, shoot. That doesn't... That doesn't cool this. Right. Okay, so it's going to have to be two heat sinks anyway. It may as well be two one by twos then. Okay, technically, <laughs> technically that's an acceptable design. We will accept that. Good enough. <laughs> Don't turn it too sharply because the cockpit will snap right off. Yeah, nice. Perfect. I gotta uh, go do something with this. I'll be back later. Aw, she's got a heart of gold. Or something. Hey. Can I get some service over here? Yeah, how can we help you? I need a new scrap hauler with a magnetic scrap claw arm. My previous ship incurred some very severe drill-related damage last night. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Big cool ships with giant drills on the front are a very popular form of revenge lately, I've heard. But I'm sure you haven't done anything revenge-worthy lately, right? Anyway, of course we'll take your business. This will be very expensive. I'm coming around on Celine. I'm pretty. I'm pretty pro Celine at this point. Is a claw not a weapon? A claw's a misc. Okay. Eleven fuel, thirty-six thrust. Thirty-six thrust. Well, I mean, it feels like you just want to jam two of these together. It's a little expensive, but also it's going to be like really easy. <laughs> And then I only need to get 11 points of fuel into this thing, so that that seems like seems like we're in one by one pump territory. Once again, just go ahead and tuck those heat sinks away. The heat sinks are pretty expensive. They're not as expensive as a pump, but all right. So sorry, fuel 11 points. Um. I guess I'm just gonna go. Ah, man, that's a big price difference, is the thing. Eight is just a little bit too little. It's very inconvenient because if we if we don't go for a single tank here, 
You know what we can do? Actually, never mind. Never mind my concern. Because this doesn't have to be right there. It's actually the two by one is all we need. No, the three. No, it is the three. Okay. How does math even work? I ask you. Okay. So. Now we need to drum 24 points of cargo capacity in there. If we set... I'm trying to watch my profile here. So we just need another two by one. That's pretty good. Room for seven points of passengers. I guess I need armor too, so maybe I don't even need this. Well, but if I put if I put down the armor plating with the fuel in it now, we're gonna have to build a bunch of extra pumps. It's probably best I just use normal armor plating. Um oh shoot. As things are, I am going to need a generator, aren't I? How much power does this thing pull? 45? Man, that complicates things. 45 sucks. 45 is a bad value. All right, fine. <laughs> Turns out I gotta jam another heatsink on this thing anyway. At least we can use the we can use the claw to provide cover. Um, actually. We only need armor on two sides of this thing. So we may as well have the claw cover some of that space. But it's super weird that that's true. Uh, we need four points of command, which is like... I guess the efficient thing to do is... Yep, and then just armor it up. I'm gonna put a cone on it. Very good, very normal. I mean, it looks a lot better. It does look a lot better when you use the curved ones. It's not really a good way to deny that. It's a shame the cone is only, yeah. Cone's like just the wrong size. That's, it's not a ton of, um, of profit, but it's not bad. I'm taking it. I'm sure I could have done better there. We didn't, we didn't fleece this dude nearly hard enough. All right, good enough. Thanks for your business. Try not to incur the wrath of drill owners again. Okay. All right, let's do, a, let's do a science outpost. Hello. In case you didn't already know, I am esteemed professor of astro-engineering, Dr. Bjorn. Some people refer to me as Science Bear. I beg of you, please, do not call me Science Bear. Uh, no problem, hang tight. I'll make sure we get your correct name in the, in the invoicing system. Ah, I'll wait. Now then, I have a few grad students orbiting a local star doing science stuff at it. And they say their output is leaking oxygen. I think they're being babies, but I need to spend this grant money anyways. This won't need any engines, just a decent amount of downward shielding to protect from the solar wind. Oh, and of course, plenty of communications antennae for them to collect their data. I'll be back soon. Hey, comms are pretty simple. Like cockpits, they can't be blocked. Otherwise, you just put them wherever. And I do mean wherever. They don't even need to be covered by hull plating. Okay, so it seems like we can we can manage this. So communications. We need six points of that. So 
so if these are if these are armor, then we just give them some downward facing clearance and everything should be fine, right? Uh, we need a room for the lab, obviously. Where's the lab? Passengers? Misc? Yes. Yo, that's an expensive part. Laboratory for doing science in. Okay. Well. Um. So we're going to need only six energy for this. That's not too bad. We need three points of command. I'm trying to build the tightest version of this thing that I can. Why is the bottom of this constantly, constantly flashing? It's making me feel like it needs bottom clearance, but it definitely doesn't. You know, some bottoms just require constant attention. Oh, the the antennas don't need to be armored, but they don't function as armor. This so is the point that's being made here. That's very strange, frankly. Okay, so we want to build just like a tight cube of spaceship here. Uh, and then it needs room for 23 cargo. I mean, the most efficient thing to do would be to just stack it, right? What if, what if, what if, what if? So let's delete these. sink in here we can jam the cargo in there and then we need room for the eight passengers and that is just a bunch of two by ones feels like they should be next to the lab right okay and then Efficiency. <laughs> yeah, that's technically what was asked for. Hmm, yes. This should be enough shielding. If not, I can always get new grad students. Ta! Hey, sorry I haven't been in touch in a few days. I found another pirate who says she can take care of our pirate problem. I see absolutely no way this could make our situation worse. Okay, I, I have concerns about Celine's decision-making, but I do like where her heart's at, which is to say revenge. Hello, my science team needs a new science vessel, so naturally I called up the best shipbuilder in the galaxy. They weren't available, so I came here, back here instead. I'm, you know what, I'm glad we changed your username. We don't need a fast or heavily armored vessel, but we do need it to be sturdy long range, and have plenty of radar for experiments. I'm sending the specifications over now. Oh, hey, first radar ship. This one's tricky-ish. Radar gives off radiation. Crew parts and comms antenna can't be anywhere near radiation. Just hover over radar parts to see the danger zones. And don't forget, you can rotate parts. This might be necessary so you don't um, irradiate the entire crew. Yeah, that does sound important. Uh, okay, so we need we need six points of radar. So this is all just antenna stuff. Where's the, the? It's probably in the radar area. That would make sense. So we're gonna need. Oh, these are 
they're not producing that much radiation. I think this will probably be the last one we do for this uh, for this episode. So. They also need front clearance. So they do have to be built in sequence. So really, the most efficient way to heat sink these is going to be like sinks along here. And then that'll also determine where we're building a lot of our other parts. So right now, in terms of energy, we're not doing too bad. Oh, I need more. This isn't this isn't even the right amount of radar. There we go. Okay, and bottom armor and front armor, but the radar counts as armor. So we want to install a generator. We're going to need to install a couple of generators, though. Yeah. There's not really too much we can do about that. If they all need front clearance, this is going to take two generators. There's no way around that. Can I do it all with small generators? Yes, actually. And that's definitely more efficient. Okay. So then we need 47 points of thrust, which should be trivial to generate. We want to create as little bottom space as possible, right? So... Three by ones? Three by twos. We're generating how much thrust? 47. So we could do this in... Eight three by twos. Three by ones really are way more efficient, but there's no way we can fuel pump all that. The fuel pumping situation here is going to suck no matter what. Generators are way expensive, though. We, we definitely want to make sure we're minimizing generators. Because it's not really the case that we can run a bunch of 3x2s efficiently, right? We can just, we can paste a bunch of 3x2s to the back of this ship. But we're definitely going to create some weird fuel pump issues. Oh no, never mind. This isn't going to, right, I need space for the um, fuel tanks. problem is that we need heat sinks for the things that are on the front of the ship and the things that are on the back of the ship. Um, well, I'm going to put all the, the engines on there and then we're probably just going to have to separate them. I wish I had like two by two heat sinks. Yeah, because we can install... We could install heat sinks here, or we could install fuel pumps. But we're talking about a huge number of fuel pumps, the way this is set up. So yeah, it's just it's just going to be the case that the heat sinks for the radar and the heat sinks for the fuel pumps are not the same. Avoid adding too much. But you know what? This says front clearance. But what it means is clearance in whatever direction it's pointing. So we can... That's right. I always forget. We can turn things sideways. The engines... The engines are the ones that can't be rotated. And that's where I get this idea that, like, the red beams are set. That's totally not the case. So... We can actually run... Yeah, this is interesting, right? We can do this. A 
and then we can run a fuel pump here. And then... Just alternate fuel pumps and heat sinks all the way up the thing. And if we just keep the um, the crew quarters internal, like this will work ish. I guess I'm giving up the front armor, but we can we can continue to mess with this. Actually, what we could do is that. And most of the ship's not even irradiated. Now we just install. Uh, oh, this is a little awkward. Because the radar dishes need heat clearance, like, I want to be able to do, yeah, because this thing doesn't have a heat sink on it. Oh, because I installed this whole, this whole thing a little bit incorrectly. It's supposed to be like this. Yes, that is better. And then we just run some fuel pumps. Okay, I like that. That has a very pleasing shape. Uh, and then we need to get in only four points of fuel. So a single a single two by two would cut it. Or it could be two two by ones that tuck in like into these spaces. And in fact, I think that's probably a good idea. Well, I guess this space isn't irradiated anyway, but It's a lot of fuel pumps. It's a lot of heat sinks. It's <laughs> there are elements of this that are not ideal. <laughs> uh, so we need room for six points of passengers, which is like that. I don't know why it couldn't be a four and a two. It's not any, yeah, it's not any different cost wise. Three points of cargo bay. And then two points of command, then we just got to finish ar ar armoring the front of it. All right, this can't be adjacent to that stuff. So I'm just going to armor it. There's like, there's probably a version of this where I figure out how to bend this stuff around, but um, it's not worth the effort. Right, like given the given the low cost of armor and everything. Oh, right, we have to be totally bottom armored. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Given the low cost of armor and everything, as I was just saying. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like the way it looks an awful lot. Yeah. The science brick. Excellent. I've got to be going now. I've been awarded a large grant to study the giant space spiders in a nearby nebula. I can't wait to get started. It's cool. Well, you know, enjoy that. Radar XL. More powerful and as such emits more radiation. Cool. All right, we're doing very, very well on money. So I hate to leave Grandma out in the cold of space. But I think that's exactly what we're going to be doing for right now. Uh, that is going to be it for us for today. And thank you all so much for watching. I am having a great time with this game. This totally rules. Uh, when you come back next time, tomorrow, we'll finally get around to helping out Grandma. And then I'm sure none of the things that we've done will come back to harm us or haunt us in any way. And we'll see you then.